Hey, what's up, y'all? So recently I was on vacation, and while I was on vacation, I had a customer hit me up and ask uh, if there was anything she could do. She had a in a service life error message for an ink pad or an ink pad full or end of life error message on her eco tank printer. Want to know if there's anything she could do to start printing again? So real quick, I just want to show you guys how to get to a uh, waste ink uh, counter reset or wick reset. So first thing we want to do is go to inkchip.net and we're going to click on WIC here at the top. And once we get there, uh, we're going to scroll down and make sure that our uh, our printer is on this list here. Uh, I think in her particular case, it was an EcoTank printer, uh, the ET2720, I think. So uh, that's on this list. So we can go ahead and download the program here. We're going to click on English as our language, and then it's going to download uh, to, to wherever you want to download it at. We're going to download it here to our desktop. While that's downloading, um, you might want to uh, go ahead and temporarily disable any kind of antivirus that you have. The program will uh, change system files, and your antivirus might pick that up as a virus. So go ahead and disable uh, any antivirus you might have temporarily. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and let this run. All right, we'll click on yes here. Do you want to install Inkchip WIC? We'll click yes. Click OK here, and we're gonna let this extract. Uh, once it's done extracting, it'll just close out, um, and then it'll install the C++ redistributable. Um, there was a, apparently a problem with it crashing if you didn't have the C++ redistributable on a 32-bit uh, operating system, but I have a 64-bit operating system. Most people do. So uh, it'll install that automatically. Once it's done doing that, um, you can go to the program, or if you go back to your, your desktop, you'll see that it installed every language including English here, but um, we'll go ahead and double click on English and let it open up. And again, I don't have, I'm at my Florida home, so I don't have my uh, EcoTank 2720 here at this home, but I'm still gonna go through the steps here. So just go, you're gonna click on Waste Ink Counters. And then here's where your printer would pop up here um, when it's connected via USB cable. Um, once you click on your printer, you would click on uh, read waste ink counters. It'll give you two percentages. Um, if they're at 100, it'll tell you that it's full and that you need to do a reset. Uh, but you need to get a reset key. You go back to uh, inkchip.net and you can click on uh, the key here. Uh, if you just get one or three or five, uh, we'll just do one here. Just click on buy. And then you'll uh, go through that process of uh, the adding it to your cart. Yeah, but once you're at the cart checkout, you can just type in the coupon code Gorilla, and you'll save 10% after you hit a clock coupon. It'll change from $9.99 to $8.99. Uh, you can proceed to checkout, and what'll happen is they'll email you a very lengthy key. I think it's like 76 characters. Um, and you go ahead and copy that key just like you would if you were doing chipless firmware install just copy that key down um, and then what you do is go back to this program here and click on reset waste ink counters again don't have my, my printer connected here at this home so once you click on reset waste ink counters it'll ask for that long key you paste that long key in there and click OK and then you just simply power cycle the printer and when the printer comes back on, the error message will be gone. And you'll be able to print again. Um, but also take a look online. Depending on your printer model you have, there are ways to open it up and uh, change those internal ink pads out. If yours doesn't have a maintenance box. Some of them have maintenance boxes that you can just change out. And some of them have the ink pads. Um, some people wash them out. Um, but you can, you can find them online pretty cheap i think i've seen some for like 9.99 or something like that so depending on the model that you have there'll be uh youtube videos on how to change those internal ink pads out all right so that's how you get back up and running if you get an internal error message or if there's two red lights blinking saying that uh the 
parts inside the printer at the end of their service life. I uh, hope you liked the video and until next time guys, good luck and good night.